guys a little bit later. We're just going to do the step by step of the first part where we're going to be making our moon blend and later speckling the sky. There's a lot more to do on this, but I'm going to go slow. So the first thing I did is you guys are going to find a plate at home that looks like relatively close to this size. You're going to choose somewhere on your canvas and you're going to trace it. Um, it doesn't have to be a great tracing right now. You just want to know kind of where you're going to go. Now my palette has been prepared a little bit messy because it's mine. I'm going to find somebody that's better here. Let me do this. At home, you're probably going to want to do something like this. You're going to pick two major colors and you're going to also do probably white and black. Now you don't have to do that. You could go white, yellow, orange, red. You, you just want to have a kind of a rainbow from lighter to darker, colors that match each other. You don't want red and green because red and green makes what? Brown. Ugly brown, okay? And you want to kind of have it in this order because this is the order we're going to be blending in our circle. Um, so we want to do a lot of um, kind of fast. You want to be standing up. You're going to be doing big circular motions. All my people that like to do little tiny brushes, that will come later. Now we're moving our arms in big circular motions when we're painting. Watch out your neighbors though, don't circular motion right under their heads, okay? So if you watch the video before you watch my demo, you can see it in a, but, a but faster time. But so what I'm gonna do, if you remember from the videos, everyone's gonna get their brush and get white paint. If your brush is already dirty, clean it off on your paper towel. You might need another paper towel for blending, but you're gonna take your brush, dip it into the white paint, and you're gonna paint your moon. And it's not gonna show up perfectly because you're painting white. Go ahead and do it now, everybody. Everybody can do it here, and it's, it's fast, and I'm always painting circular for this project. These brushes lose um, teeth, our little hairs all the time. If you can, pick it out. If you can't, it will dry out and you can paint over it. So I'm just establishing where my moon is. It's not too big, I'm not worried about being in the lines. It's nothing terrible. Because we're gonna blend into the white so it doesn't, it, it's hard to see, but you're filling that circle with the white. Okay, the next thing I'm doing, I've actually decided to do a kind of a turquoise. So I've mixed blue and green in my palette, but it's very dark. So watch how Miss Lisa's mixing. So my blue is coming into my green, so I get kind of, I need a little bit more blue. So I'm getting kind of a turquoisey blue. It's great. And then she's going to do But it's the, really dark. Yeah, yeah. So she's going to pull in some white. I am. I want to get rid of this brush so it's not bothering people. Okay, so I'm going to take my white and I'm going to drag it in a little bit and just pick up a little bit of that paint. So what you guys do are you're going to get your white, you're going to drag it into your next color of paint, and you're going to kind of put it into your moon. Because we we're not ready to paint our actual moon yet. We're just kind of painting our glow color. So I like that. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that paint, but maybe with a little bit less of the white. It could be close. And I'm going to go out of the line of the moon. I'm going pretty fast. These brushes are so bad. Oh, but it just needs to get it on there because they're going to do the blending with the paper towel. Yeah. So no blending yet, you guys. I'm actually making a stripe of another color. Okay, I can even have a little area here that's not painted yet. I might go over it because I'm going to blend it. I'm going to go a little darker now for my next stripe. So it's white and then your lightest color is a ring around the white. Why do you need, uh, Kendall, you're going to use your pink next, I think. Because pink's your lighter color. So a ring of pink. Yes, Ellie. Because this is just a glow. You can do like a You're going to paint kind of around the edge of it, and then we're going to blend it in. And I'm going pretty fast. Now I need to get dark. I do not want to get any of my white paint in after this stripe because I've got white in here. I can't get white in my next stripe. So my next grab, grab of paint is going to be just straight old blue. So those of you in class, if you need to move your body and come look at Miss Lisa's canvas, she'll hold it up too. Here we go. You're going from light to dark. You're not worried about blending it yet. You're just making the rings from 
light to dark of your colors. But you have to work fast. Jake, what, what colors are you using, bud? That's a great. So put a little white in it and then do your first ring of that. Oh, uh, Ms. Butch can get you some more white. All right, I'm now moving. I put some Emily, purple on my tray, so I'm going to purple. Emily's good. Butch. Jake needs white, too. So Emily's fine. Leave her alone. Elizabeth, are you out of paint, too? Butch, I need you to leave them and get, just get the paint first, please. Elizabeth? Yours. Guys, it's just colored stripes. So you go from white and then add your next color to the white. What is your next color, Elizabeth? Pink. Add a little bit more pink into your white. You're making a stripe. So I was really light aqua, and then I went and I went to, and I took less white. Then I added some more green and blue to it and got rid of all of the white. You should see stripes right now. It's okay to see stripes. But you need to make so your stripes kind of white? fat. You can just go grab it. Which has it there? I just can't move because I'm stuck to the iPad. Um, I need to do you want me to leave it like this for now, Mr. Kosa? No. Or do you want me to start talking about blending? So if you want to stop and just watch Miss Lisa while she does the blend, you can. There's no help right now. Right now. All right, so at home, I'm gonna have a clean paper towel. I'm gonna to start from the center, or really the first stripe, and I'm gonna start blending and swirling in a circle. So I'm gonna be dotting, dotting, dotting in this first blend, and then I'm gonna be circling around, getting my blend to blend into the next color. Dot, 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 dot. And you've gotta be working fairly quick at home because if the paint dries, it's not going to do that nice smear for us. Now, I can always add more paint if I need to, but I don't want to add my darker colors into my lighter colors. So I'm really going from the inside of the circle out. Yeah, hold on one second. And I can also change where my um, paper towel is. So if I don't want to get my dark color. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna keep going and blending. I can get a clean part of my paper towel if I have an area that I don't think is working. And then I also can add more paint if I feel like I need to add more paint. So I might get some of my white and add a little bit more. Now remember, we're gonna be painting a whole moon off of this. So I don't have to worry too much about like this being perfectly white or being the right color. You just go from light to dark. So I'm just so touching up. And I got a little dark for me, so I'm gonna have to add some lighter colors in there. Anyway. Okay, I kind of lost some of my pretty blue green, so I'm gonna get back in there. And then once I've got kind of something I like, I'm gonna go back to my dot 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 swirling. Blending. I also might be able to get some of these bristles of my brush off of the tape paper or the canvas, excuse me. And remember, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna paint my moon on top of this. So I just really want to work on my blends right now and getting rid of my stripes. Okay, so I'm getting my darker brush. I feel like I need blue. I need it darker down here. So then I'm going to take that paint I just added, find a dark part of my, or clean part, and I'm going to add it in, and I'm going to push it around, and get my blend going. And I'm going to keep blending until I get it the way I like it. I feel like I'm still a little stripey. So I'm gonna take a step back. Sometimes you have to take a step back. I think I might need a little bit more of that blue color. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add my blue. Are you out of paint, Becca? All right, okay. I am gonna to have to, sometimes you might have to break and clean your brushes if you feel like you're getting too muddy. But you're gonna keep going, adding paint. 
And just make sure you don't blend the dark into some area that you don't want to be too dark. I have a little bit of black, which I'm going to bring way into the corners here. And again, I would get my brush. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going.